Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here, and today I want to talk about the Pipeline Pipeline Division Pocket Knife by R. Angus, an Alberta Limited Company. So I had done a video on this before, but after actually carrying it a few weeks and using it, I've done a few things to it. So, and those things are probably not surprising being it's a pocket knife, but um, one thing I have done is I've tightened all the pins. I've pinged those down just a little bit on each side because the tools, not the tools, but the blades were just feeling a little bit wiggly. So I uh, tightened those down. But one of the other things I've done is I've sharpened the blade. Um, this knife actually, when I got it, had never been used. So I ended up with a factory, factory, um, sharpened blade which was not the best and after trying to sharpen a few pencils at work and not really succeeding I put a really nice edge on this and I put a steep one um, this is about 28 degrees so uh, the reason why I put such a steep blade on the uh, angle on this is because I don't use this for anything other than sharpening my pencils at work and maybe the occasional sausage cutting up uh, meat for lunch or anything like that but other than that nothing else so i want to preserve the blade um, a little bit this isn't a very wide blade as compared to what do i have lying around here like my camp king i mean that is a much taller blade compared to that one so i want this one to last a little longer since it's 440 a steel so it's going to be softer it's going to strop up easier so i didn't want to put a very high angle on it so that's one thing i did the other thing is i fixed the tip uh, the tip had a weird grind so i ended up putting a sharper tip on there and that came out good you can still kind of see the weird grind they had on there it's not complete um, I have noticed in my sharpening, I have a weird habit of not completely sharpening all the way to the tip, and primarily because I want to have a strong enough tip, and I don't really need a sharpened blade there. Whatever I'm cutting usually um, is soft enough that this sharp tip will get to the cutting edge when I pierce it. So that's another thing I've noticed with my hand sharpening. Now, the thing I've been just really enjoying with this knife and why it's so unique and I've had offers of people wanting to buy this knife please I'm not going to sell this one this is a very unique equal end pen knife that I have not found another one like and the fact that it has a small screwdriver blade and a cap lifter on it is incredible so please I'm not selling it um but here we have that cap lifter and then the small screwdriver. Now I have not used this too much, um, but I did use it to hang up a, a, a picture frame and uh, screw a screw into the wall and it held up very well. But I did ping this side also just to strengthen it up. Now over here you can see stainless Sheffield, England. And nothing else on the other side. Still very nice snap. And then over here, says the same stainless Sheffield England and then the thing that I absolutely love about this knife other than the bottle opener are the springs now these are really crude um, decorated springs but the fact that they're even done on something so industrial looking really shows that whoever commissioned this or used the company to make this they had a little bit of fun with the back springs and I just think it reminds me of like uh, bicycle gears or tank tracks it just really is unique and I just wanted to talk about this knife again um, I know that this was one of my earlier knives that I did in a video and I just felt that it was worth looking at once more and maybe doing a follow-up on what I like about it and why I like it so wanted to share this one with y'all and uh, give it another chance of exposure and um, recognize, uh, recognition 
um, of how great this little knife is. So if you guys like this video and like this knife, let me know. And uh, let me know in the comments. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you here. So thank you guys again. Hope you have a great day or night wherever you may be.